Congratulations. Um, thank you. How are you feeling? Terrible. Aside from headache. Oh. How um, are <laughs> you feeling as far as <laughs> winning the tournament goes? I don't know. It, it's <laughs> it's competing with the headache. Yeah, I I'm really glad I brought it back. Uh, he did a really good back air on like my normal getup, so I was like, dang, that was that was yeah. great. I can see you s that, that exact thought. You're just like playing. I was like, yeah, that's yeah. it. I was like, wow, that was good. <laughs> but against Apache, I was still like, I was still overall like my headache was pretty bad. But game five, I was getting destroyed, and I was like, you I just I just got so like you. Usually, I don't get mad, but I got like pretty upset. So I was like, you know what, I'm just going to try to circle camp. Just play the matchup, like, I guess the way it should be. It should be, even though I don't want to. <laughs> so bringing it back against him was pretty hard. Um, against JK, the first set, I feel like he just expected me to play more passive, and I just didn't want to. I, I definitely played passive, but yes. I was only passive in the sense that I was, like, respecting his options. Yeah. So... First set, I played really strong. Second set, I got comfortable. And oh he he took a game, which was pretty good. I think it was the Town and City game, right, where he SD'd? That was the third set. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 I'm okay. talking about the second yeah, set of Grand Finals. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, gotcha, so, yeah. gotcha. He, he took the second game, uh, the third game off. He took the third game, and I was like, oh, wow, that sucks. And I know we played once at one of the other, other TGGs. And I know, I was like, huh, I'm just going to try Duck Hunt. Like, let's see what happens. Oh, yeah. That worked out well for you. It, it was close. <laughs> it was actually close. But I, I feel like he camped, he outcamped you on, on your own counter pick. Yeah. But if, <laughs> if I if I happened to get the correct straight hit, I would have won. Yeah, that's true. So that's I was like, true. of course, while I'm playing, I was thinking those same things. I was like, wow, he's, he's actually playing this, like, tree game way better than I am. But I can still, I can still win. Like I was like I just have to I just have to play properly. Like, I just have to beat the player because there's no way I'm beating the bayonetta on duck hunt. Like I'm not gonna do that. That's just not possible. He's playing way too smart. So like I have to find his own habits and then beat it. Almost got it. And then game five, just I guess lucky reads. <laughs> or not lucky reads, but like fortunate reads. Well, okay. And there was any any moment I could have lost after he took my stock. So I was like. I just have to play really fortunate or really conservative. Can't get witch times. Can't get like unsafe things. So it was tough, but I I had a lot of fun. Oh yeah, so regardless of you guys like, both had a lot of fun. Yeah, you guys were laughing and joking. So between that first set you lost from him, 3-0, and the grand final set, is there anything you thought about that changed your mindset? Because you played so much differently in the grand final set than you did in the winter final set. I don't is it just know. the headache? Is it just like well. The headache's been like on and off. Like after the set was done, my headache was kind of like chill. Right now, it's kind of like not chill <laughs> at all. So not chill at all. I, I guess I wasn't as like, I I had my head in the game. I wasn't as worried about it, and I can thank Apache for that because game five, he just he made me play really on point. Right. So yeah, well, I think the only thing that changed was I felt like. I had to win. Well, not really. I felt like I really wanted to win, so I brought that out of me instead of being more like laid back about it. Well, fantastic stuff. Do you have any last words for everybody here watching our screen? Uh, Counter Logic Gaming, pretty cool. They're great. They're, they're okay. fantastic. They're, they're pretty cool. They're not okay. They're, they're more than okay. Uh, they're okay, great, fantastic. Everything. JK is a really good player. Yes. I'm glad he 3 0 would me. <laughs> I'm, glad he, I'm glad he took a set from me. Not everyone can say that. And yeah, that's that's about it. All right, well, thank you once again for coming out to Bucket Bunch Party. Love to have you guys here. Oh yeah, thanks for the free water in the venue. Oh yeah, free water is the I best. I think I had like nine cups <laughs> in the past like forty minutes. <laughs> All righty, thank you so much, uh, J.K. People asking you for an interview. All right, so the people asked, and you asked, you shall receive. The man, J.K., is here from Vegas. My man. What's up, everyone? <laughs> What's up, everyone? How's it going? How's it going? <laughs> Yay! Yay! So, SoCal. the first question I have to ask you. Huh. Did you have a lot of fun? Dude, I had so much fun. Like, 
past two tournaments I went to, and I was like, oh, I lost to this person. I didn't get to play like K9. I didn't get to play like people. Um, I played Zenyu, and he bodied me <laughs> um, at Bad and at Wednesday Night Fights. That was fun. But it's really fun coming out here and then seeing how I do because True. in Vegas, like, it's like there's only so far you can go because Freddy doesn't go to tournaments anymore. I want him to come. Shout out to Freddy. Um, He's actually in the chat today. Hopefully, hopefully um, I see everyone in the chat. Um, everyone's like rooting for me, blah, 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 blah. Facebook blowing up. It's really cool. Um, I'm 18 years old. Chats are there. So any other questions you want to ask me? Yes, there are lots of questions. All right. So all right, all right. you 3 owed you 2 owed Fallen. You 3 0 K9, and you 3 0 Void. Yeah. What was going through your mind when you were playing against Void, this top level player? Like, were you like nervous going into the match, or did you just want to play? Um, if I, I look at myself and I say, if I play well, I could beat anybody. That's kind of the w way you should and think you, about. That's that's pretty much what happens. Like, it, it's gonna be close, and if I win, I win. If I don't, I don't. But, but the best I can do. So then, what? So you came down here. You said you you were trying to play those good players. Yeah. What? Valuable things do you think you're going to take away from this tournament that you think you can apply to your your Smash game after this? Like, what what things do you learn from today? I learned a lot of um, habits, a lot of habits. I wrote them in my notebook, and that's what you write. Down. Okay. Yeah, I write down their habits and what they do. Like, uh, when I was playing against Void the first set in Grand Finals, I was air dodging like every single time, and then I realized that second set, and it was a lot more close. Oh yeah, um, it was just interesting. Yeah, um, K9 went Diddy, and then he had a lot of unfortunate SDs, and then yeah. I think that affected him throughout the whole set. Honestly, yeah. he'll come back though. He'll be you know, stronger yeah. than ever. Yeah, oh, you yeah. had some you had some ridiculous kills. Like you upbeat him to like the middle of the stage, and then he's, what is the Diddy gonna do? Like you're you're done. Like you can't do anything. No, there was some crazy stuff that I did on um, K9. There was one witch time punish. Oh, oh yeah, there's a lot of like crazy. Yeah, combos. the witch time conversion from like seven percent yeah. to a kill. I was like, are you kidding me? I was like, this would be a good like 70% or something. When I first came to tournaments, I looked up the 9B w when he was on pre-patch, and he, when he got a confirm, killed him. Oh yeah, and every like, witch time was a kill. Every witch time was a kill. It really was. And yeah. it was just like, I was like, I want to be that. And Z told me like, oh, like, you know, you shouldn't be so hard on yourself to be like that. And then I guess that's what I am now. But yeah, I mean, you were getting so many witch times on Void that first set. Yeah. I it was the, oh, the first set. Uh, pretty much everybody, you're getting like consistent witch times. Sheik throws out a lot of hitboxes as yes. well as like. And um, a lot of them aren't, they're not like true combos either, so yeah. you can usually witch time the second or third mm -hmm. one. But um, Void was really fun to play. I really like playing Void. You don't want to get hit. You got 3 0 and we're like laughing and staring. Yeah, I, was, I wasn't like mad. I'm not going to be like, oh, I can't lose the Void. Like, that shouldn't be the mentality. Yes, indeed. So but thank you so much for coming out. Shout out to everyone in Vegas watching. Shout out to Afro. Afro told me a few things on Bayonetta, just a little bit. And then I'm staying with him for like a month, so I'm going to be at tournaments more often. Oh, nice. And so you're, you're you're from Vegas and you're living in, wh what brings you to SoCal? Just the Smash scene? Um, The Smash scene over here is much stronger than Vegas. Sorry to say Vegas. And it's, it's just stronger. It's, there's just more people. There's more people here and there's like, um, yeah, there's more people here and... Bodied! There is like so so much talent here, so much talent here. But I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna try to perform, try to do well. Not sponsored, unfortunately. So not sponsored. Agent. Anybody out in the crowd yeah, looking? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So All thank right. you so much for coming out. Do you have any last shout outs before you head out? All right, I have to give a shout out to any the Zelda that can't be spiked. Um, that's it. I have never spiked any, and there's no evidence to prove it. I have. I spiked. I have. But I know Ven spiked them, so that's all that matters. <laughs> oh, buddy. All right. All right, so thank you, everybody, for tuning in to Falcon, but you can leave. All right, get out of here. No one wants you. I'm just kidding. you the best. See you next week. So thank you, everybody, for tuning in to Falcon Punch Fridays. We hope you guys enjoyed the tournament as much as I did. Shout outs to this incredible venue. They do so much for this community and so much for us as a comp streaming company. So we hope to see you on Wednesday. No Saturday tournament, right? Yeah, so Wednesday for Pokin and again on Friday for Pocket Bunch Fridays. Until then, enjoy the rest of your weekend, and we will see you next time.